starting your Sunday with us. I am Melissa Stark, and I start every Sunday with these guys. How lucky am I? And they're Ooh. they're raring to go. My Super Bowl <laughs> champion starting with Sean O'Hara. Top of the morning. Michael Robinson and my coach and Brian Billick. Just glad to be anywhere. <laughs> He's glad he made it here on, in one piece. Can I just add that age? He's just glad to be up, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's so we're, we're glad too. You know what? And we are so glad good. fall has set in. Has anybody? Did anybody go to the apple orchard? My wife. Sean, yeah, from that pumpkin, you were in a full lather, or no, did we not, not see? One. Okay. It was. It wouldn't fit on the screen. It was so big. It was, it was also attacked by bees, but that's a story for another day. Yeah, too much apple cider. We are going to get uh, going with the top headlines. So huge. When Brady back in the building, back in the huddle now. All right, when he comes in the huddle, I said last week, it's like Jon Snow. Well, well, yeah. And, and, and <laughs> <laughs> you knew it yeah, did Game of Thrones. Kraft also, Kraft also <laughs> mentioned how impressed he was when Brady was hit on the sideline, right? He jumps right back up. He signals first down. He said he was definitely sending a message. Yeah, I'm okay. Even though he was pointing to up the lead. instead of over. <laughs> Legal. In that one. Oh, I thought he was dabbing. <laughs> All right, we have another good Matt a little later, but some sad news this morning. An inspirational figure in NFL history has died. Former Jets defensive end Dennis Byrd, who defied all odds after a devastating spine injury, was killed in a car crash in Oklahoma yesterday. In 1992, Byrd... For other guys in that locker room. He yeah. wasn't talking about himself. Well, I, I call it the itty-bitty committee. <laughs> and, and, and when the itty-bitty committee starts getting together and talking about, hey, you know... So I, I don't know what the complaint so is the about. the offensive lineman complaining. I'm sure Mike Thomas was like, hey, Ben, you just worry about completing third now. That are one and four, the Miami Dolphins. Of course, oh, they have Adam Gase down there. He's trying to create a new culture. He's bringing in a new system, which takes time. That being said, Mike Robb, I want to ask you, what do you want to see from Ryan Tannehill? Oh, man, I want to see a lot. You mentioned Tom Brady. He's been in the same system for 17 years. Well, and Tannehill, to your point, Coach, how, we don't really know what he is even this year. He has yet to start. Times the season second most in the NFL. Yeah, but it's not good. Adam Gase said you can ask him 100 times. Ryan Tannehill is going to be his starter for On Joe Flacco, he's been, what, through five, six coordinators now? It's a little like the guy that's been divorced. You. Uh-oh. <laughs> but, but at some point, you know, that pressure does come back. I think it's going to put a lot of pressure on Joe Flacco to look good in, once again, another change of quarterback. I think they have to reestablish the line of scrimmage. I mean, I think they really do. Flip this over to the New York Giants. And, and to your point, the Giants are in the same boat. They need yeah. explosive plays. They're not getting it. But active this season. So that, that's going to be oh, an wow. issue. And I'm going to attempt, attempt to say his name. Hala Puluvati Vitae. Nice. Right? Whoa, a lot okay. of vowels in there. Did but you work on that up a lot all night. Night. Yep. a little bit. Yep. Uh, Rook. But now you've got a rookie. So the challenge really is on Doug. Active this season. So that, that's going to be oh, an wow. issue. And I'm going to attempt, attempt to say his name. Hala Puluvati Vitae. Nice. Right? Whoa, a lot okay. of vowels in there. Did but you work on that up a lot last night? Yeah, a little bit. There it is. Uh, Rook. But now you've got a rookie, so the challenge really is on Doug. This is a big blow for this entire offensive line because now you've got a new guy in there, and now sometimes as a, when you have a rookie helping him out, <laughs> but you end up hurting you're yourself, <laughs> and you end up jumping off oh, What sides. was the snap count? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, Carson Wentz. Everybody, I did radio shows in Philadelphia all weekend. Everybody's, oh, okay, is this really what Carson Wentz? Carson Wentz did fine. Nothing says I'm a big, strong man like a pink poodle T-shirt. Great it. job by, by Martellus. He played for the Giants a few years ago, and uh, he really is a well-rounded indiv individual, but uh, but he's he's a personality off the field, as you could tell. Well, I'll tell you what, his family loves him being on the Patriots. His mom said she gets to see everything he's capable of doing. She especially oh, sure. liked it when he took a handoff a oh, couple weeks yeah. Yeah, ago. Yeah, that does often yeah. for a tight... Uh, that's why I went with that. Okay. And, that's and I'm going Justin Tucker because he's just... Justin Tucker. You know, in the kicker world, he he's the dominator right now. Don't miss out on the chance to win $1 million. Make sure to play Perfect Challenge presented by Mazda every week during the regular season only on NFL.com slash Perfect Challenge. Perfect Challenge. Got to be perfect. It's game over. Mike just showed you Ezekiel Elliott. This offense line is going to slowly take over this game. I have the Dallas Cowboys. Sean O'Hara. Yeah, this was a tough pick for me because I know how defenses have ranked against the number one ranked offense, but I just feel like momentum is so big in this game. If they can handle the crowd noise. The biggest game of the weekend, pressure-wise, on the coaches. Chuck Pagano and Bill O'Brien, what they face one another, this is huge. I take Houston home. Huge pressure today. Yeah, well, Houston is winless on the road, undefeated at home. I'm also going, so you're on your own there. Oh, oh! Yeah. Come on, man. You don't okay. mind pressure. No. You ain't Meanwhile, not ours, yours. No, that was my sleeper team, too. So I agree. Okay. I like that. No, I, like I, I, I think they, they got to win one on the road against Chicago. A team mm -hmm. that's not real, real good. I'm going to go with Jackson. They've lost nine straight October road games. So uh, you're the lone wolf again trying to trying to get the lead back in picks. And if whoa, we have time, whoa, whoa. I have the lead we back. Can show, we can show the 